What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video this home goods queen has another home goods haul. I was able to score some amazing home accessories as well as bring you in the store with me. So if you are interested in seeing this shop with me and haul of everything amazing from home goods then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes such as movie, illustration, design, fine art, music, and more. Skillshare helps you explore new skills, deepen your passion, and get lost in creativity. I personally love sharpening my skills and learning more about videography, especially how to shoot it with the iPhone, which is a class that they offer taught by Kayla Babcock and Niles Gray. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So take a few minutes and check out Skillshare and see how you can explore your passion.
it on my coffee table. I think it literally would be perfect anywhere. Um, I still have to get some greenery for this bad boy, but this is also from Home Goods, a little bit older. I've talked about this before. You just throw your channel changer and remote whatever you need in there. I love that it makes it so obscure. But this chain is super nice. It is substantial, heavy, and again, for $19, I think it is the perfect accessory on top of some coffee table books, on top of a desk, literally anywhere. It is the perfect accessory. So definitely keep your eyes peeled. I've also seen some in other colors, which again, you could totally DIY and spray paint this with some matte black um, spray paint if you wanted to. So if you find one that isn't the right color, I wouldn't worry about it. Still get it and just DIY it. Next is this Sherpa ottoman that I found that I absolutely am in love with. I showed one recently that was super similar um, from at home and it was extremely similar but it had feet on the bottom this one is just completely round it does have some accents of lines on the sides and the height is perfect i have it in my beauty room as you can see and i love the way that it looks it just gives it that like warm soft look with the bright white color against all of the other textures of white that i have in here it's literally perfect. I think it would be good if you had two of them at the bottom of a bed just for like, you know, a sitting area. Um, I love to put my clothes here or you can put a tray and put some candles on here. You can sit down and put your shoes on. It's literally so versatile and can be used so many different ways. So if you find one, I would definitely grab it and then decide where to put it later because for 60 bucks, you can't beat it. It's beautiful and classic. Next is this petrified wood piece that I found and I absolutely love it. It's super tall and skinny. It has a beautiful colorway of browns and bones and blacks. And I thought I went perfect with this picture that is also from Home Goods. Um, I got this forever ago, but I love the texture of the frame. It's got such a nice, fine um, grain texture to it. I think it just pairs perfectly with this. Um, I have this on my Ikea shelves. And then on the bottom shelf, I also have just some driftwood as as well as the Design and Coconut Grove books that I got from Home Goods forever ago. And then this little vessel is from Home Goods too. So just a lot of texture and neutral colors on these shelves. And I think it turned out super cute. This was a bathroom that I had been working on for some time. And thanks to Home Goods and at home, I was able to complete it as you can see. But these shelves are perfect because of that nice height that that petrified wood brings to it. I think that shelves are a little bit difficult to style. So if you find yourself having difficulty, I would definitely look for something that has height and then something that has texture and a little bit of um, thickness to it, kind of like the books do. Books are always a great idea. Driftwood's always a good idea. And then some sort of picture, or you can go the more comfortable, useful route with a tray of, you know, hand towels or cotton balls, anything like that. I go for more of the design look um, and then store away all the stuff that you would use, but I love the way that these turned out. I will also link, um, if I can still find them, the shelves below for you. I've gotten a ton of questions on these. We have them in this color as well as the white um, shelf with the silver um, attachment on the side. So I'll try to find those and link those for you as well, but I love some good petrified wood. This cerebro piece is literally the perfect color combination. I absolutely love this colorway. I did see it recently um, in Home Goods. That was the same exact colorway, except the shape was shorter and more rectangular. Um, I love that. However, for this space, I definitely wanted to break it up with something more square, as well as something that wasn't black. So I thought the gray would go well, especially because I moved one of the ones that I had to my bathroom. So this is kind of a gray beige colorway. And of course, whoops, with the um, brown wood frame, I just think it is a nice, warm, neutral color, and it really goes with any theme in any room. Um, they did have some baby Sarah Brooks that I got that I actually ended up returning, and they were the literally like this tall, so they were 
I'd say like two feet tall and two feet wide and they were two square ones. Um, they were white with beige, kind of like a half circle in the corner. But I just didn't like the way that it looked in the room so I ended up returning them. But they do have baby Sarah Brooks out there. So if these are too big for your space, keep your eyes peeled for those. They're still in the same exact section. They're just gonna have, and they're gonna have that um, wood frame which kind of helps your eye differentiate them from um, other picture pieces that you may see but they do have them out there so if these are too big or too expensive for your space then definitely look for these smaller Sarah Brooks they are out there if I can find them in black and white I totally would have kept them for the guest bedroom but that is the Sarah Brooks piece that I got it is the last to complete my collection I love it and they are still floating around guys so don't lose hope I also found this super cute accessory from Home Goods. I think it'd be super comfy in the movie room. It is a Sherpa type, you know, sitting chair, and it was super inexpensive. I think around, let's see, where's the tag? Maybe, oh yeah, $24.99. So super affordable. If you like the Sherpa look, then definitely keep your eyes peeled for these. They are kind of scattered throughout the store, but I happen to find mine in the section of the store that has the pillows and then they're at the top shelf. Um, they did have them in a couple of different colors, but I did get the, it's just like an off-white ivory color and it has a little handle at the top. So if you have kids um, and you want to just kind of drag it around the house with them, you totally could do that. Or you just have a movie room and you want to add some seating accessories that aren't too expensive. This is a really good alternative for you. All right, you guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this home goods queen, home goods haul. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And don't forget to check out Skillshare. I will leave everything in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.